Here's another example of writing conditional statements in Excel or similar spreadsheet program. This time though we're going to have multiple conditions and the details are going to be a little bit more complicated but we'll break it down systematically. So in a spreadsheet we have two things given. One is the annual income in cell A1 and then the other is cell A2 the number of dependents. So we have two things given, the income and the number of dependents. Then there's a rule given for a tax credit. So the tax credit applies to someone with no dependents who earns less than 10,000 or to someone with dependents who earns less than 20,000. Let's break this down and think about this logically. So the tax credit will apply to one of the two following types of people. So this is someone with no dependents and income less than ten thousand dollars or someone with dependents and income below twenty thousand and someone will get a tax credit if they're either the first category or the second category. So we need to build a conditional statement that has the first compound statement or the second compound statement. No dependents and income less than 10,000 or dependents and income less than 20,000. So we're going to have several pieces in this, but we'll build it systematically. A statement with AND like this in Excel, you write with the function AND and then in parentheses you put the two conditions. So no dependents, remember cell A2 contains the number of dependents. So no dependents would be A2 equals zero and their income less than 10,000, so that's the second statement in this first AND. Income is stored in cell A1, so A1 less than 10,000. So that's the first AND statement. The second AND statement is that the dependence is more than zero. This person has dependents. but income is less than 20,000. The way to combine these two individual AND statements with the OR is to use OR where the components of the OR are these two individual statements. So the syntax is a little bit tricky the first time you see it but all we've done is to create two AND statements, no dependents and income less than 10,000, no, uh, some dependents and income less than 20,000, and then we've combined those two with OR using this syntax where we type OR and then in parentheses the two statements that we're combining. We're not done yet though, because we have this rule that if someone meets this condition, they get a tax credit, if they don't, they don't get a tax credit. So this will be the condition on our if statement. Remember the syntax for if looks like this, where we type if and then in parentheses we list the condition first, then comma, the value for the cell if that condition is met, if it's true, so they would get a credit, and then comma, if the condition is not met, they don't get a tax credit. And then we close that if statement. So this one looks a lot more complicated than the other one, just because we have all of these simple statements being combined in different ways. And all of that is listed as the condition on an if statement.